Hello, hey. Test. All right, it's looking like it's okay. <coughs> Hello, this is welcome to um the uh, second art stream for this thing. Uh, for this family photo, I think, I think, hey, Bad Wolf, I think I've solved the issue with the whole program, like, tripping out every five minutes, but we'll see. Uh, a couple of things or goals for tonight. This won't take, well, this isn't going to be so full. Of, uh, let's see. Uh, first, I guess, I can hear you fine. Awesome. Yeah, so the goal for tonight is to get a lot of the detail work done. I'm not... These hands are placeholders. I'm going to be real. I absolutely cannot do hands. Uh, so they won't look like this. Uh, but they're there as placeholders until I go back and, uh, and rework them. But yeah, these... They won't look like this. Okay, we'll fix that later. Um, let's see. Hey, Weasel, I was starting to wonder when the stream was going to start. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's seven, generally speaking. And the streams won't always be this project. You know, there are other other projects that I can do, that I will do. Um, this is just one that uh, I've been kind of holding off for a while. I've got another one that is a painting that's actually been sitting for a long time that I very much owe this person and then I've got other people's OCs that are part of the Patreon stuff so I'm just this this is taking care of the backlog of all that um so anyway let me get started with this and like I said these are just really really um laid back streams so if you want to put me on in the background or have me on like if any of you are I don't know across the pond over in Europe right now or something and you just need me as some kind of flickering light source or whatever you can go ahead and do that that's fine yeah no hand anatomy is the absolute worst hand anatomy is the worst it is the fucking worst um so you know, that's why there, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of practice that I really should be doing, um, that I'm not, that, you know, anyway, so we'll move that there, so how's it been with you? Is this your family or someone else? This is a friend's family. Well, this is a friend's uh, portrait, actually. This is something that they really want me to do specifically. Um, I was specifically asked to live stream this. So, that is what I am doing. Also, new episode of Feeding the Trolls will be coming out tomorrow on Patreon. I filmed it today. It's going to be a shorter episode, but it's, uh, it's not any of the more... It's, it's not like the episodes that have come out recently. It's, it's, uh, it's... It's not going to be depressing. So in the next episode of Feeding the Trolls, it'll come out publicly on Friday. And it will not make you want to die. So that is a bonus. Then after that, this weekend, I actually want to get another... My goal is to get at least four episodes ahead or by the end of August, have September covered because I want to do some things in September 
and I don't want my outlook my, my output to suffer and I'm maintaining kind of a good stride with getting episodes out every week and I want to maintain that um, I will also be putting out a, a video game review I haven't done one of those in a long time but it will be the first video that will be both on this channel and a new channel that I will be creating. Uh, I've decided that I want to branch off and have another channel. It's not going to be, uh, you know, it's not going to be all video games, but since I've got this character that I've rigged and that I can use, I want to try doing something with him. And the videos will be on that channel and on this channel. Uh, so, you know, it's it's not like if you're subscribed here you won't get those videos, at least initially. But I do want to branch off from, you know, solely doing Feeding the Trolls to doing something, I don't know, something that doesn't make me pissed off to the point where I have to like smoke <laughs> something, something that to where I don't genuinely have to smoke um, there is there's something to be said about the effect of having to do feeding the trolls again and again and again and again and dealing with people like that again and again and again and again uh, to the point where it's it becomes uh, painful <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I want to create another channel that's, that's got a little bit more variety to it, but we'll see this is, that's, that's probably all very premature. So we'll, we'll see how that turns out. I might not, we don't know who knows, who knows with me, you know, I've made plans before and they haven't come out. So let's see. I do have an update about my video editing with the master files. I saw that the file extensions were MP4, and as such, encoding was, and it turns out I was wrong. Oh, okay. Then, good. Hey, Weasel, I know this is not related, but have you ever played Serious Sam? I have. Turns out the formatting was H2. So that explains. Okay, good, good. Nice, that Gunman's Chronicle video is a classic. He's the angry video game weasel. Ah, yes, the 420. Yeah. Well, okay, look, with that episode, you know, the one the one that I just did, the one with, you know, what should you say, I needed that. Like, I actually did need that. That was pretty bad. Um, Even though I had seen the... Like, I, it's not like any of these reactions are my first time reaction... Um, I mean, I don't script this, but I do look over the whole thing because I have to at least make sure that it's not going to ramble on for 10 minutes. But that being said, it was like you get to a point where it's like, you know, holy man, it it gets bad like it gets. Yeah, especially when they're like, is climate change a bad thing? Uh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's like saying, I know you've been, like, stabbed, but is getting stabbed a bad thing? Yeah, I, I know you've, you've, you know, you're being eaten by ants, but is being eaten by ants a bad thing? The rich donors that run this channel would argue that being eaten by ants is the best market decision. <laughs> you can't expect them to do any actual physical labor. It's important. Ah, come on, pen. Yeah, for some reason the sensitivity is just waffling in and out. Still, I prefer using this over uh, Photoshop when it comes to illustrations. I, 
I know there's ways to modify Photoshop so you can have certain things, but... Mm, I'm not thrilled about the way this line is looking. It needs to be a little bit more even. Let's see. Uh, hey, Weasel, I'm getting baked and leverage trading to your stream. I'm getting baked and leverage trading to your stream. Go for it. I thought about getting into the stock market, but I think we were all kind of shown who really runs the stock market with the GameStop thing. I'm afraid the only other option is for the workers to seize the means of production and for the privateers and the bourgeoisie. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I don't do stock market shit because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know anything about how to do stock market. Like, I don't. I know I could learn it, and I probably should learn it, but I don't know. I'm just kind of operating under the assumption that I won't have to <laughs> be in a position where I have to bet my life on the stock exchange, but that's probably wishful thinking. Let's see. Uh, do you own any crypto, Weasel? I had the opportunity back in 2011 to buy 100 Bitcoin. Uh, and at the time, I didn't take it because I didn't think it was going to go anywhere. So... You know, again, one of the one of the many reasons why I don't get on the stock market is because of decisions from past me like that. Uh, to be fair, I think that cryptocurrencies as they operate now are incredibly detrimental on everything and actively undoing any progress that they might have had um, in helping to stabilize the environment. I'd also argue that having vast quantities of untraceable wealth really just opens up things for a modern-day slave market. So my opinion of crypto is fairly dubious. Um, but as far as do I own any crypto now? No. I don't see, I do not see the point at this point of getting crypto because it's all prohibitively expensive. I mean, yeah, I could, I could get maybe two thirds of a percentage of a Bitcoin, but what's the point, you know? At that point, you're buying such a small amount of something that you might as well be trading in real money. Because I don't, I don't see Bitcoin ever getting up past sixty thousand, right? I mean, not sixty thousand, but you know, up past a hundred thousand. So if you start, if you start earn, you know, owning percentages of a Bitcoin, you're basically owning percentages of a f not very stable currency that's probably hit its peak. So I don't see a point. Uh, yeah, you could try and get on the ground floor of, like, Ethereum or some other crypto, whatever. But then you're just going to hit the same issue, and that's if they actually succeed. I, for I foresee a really decent... St I, I foresee a backlash against crypto, like, internationally. Uh, but then again, you know, I'm not particularly smart when it comes to uh to market forces like that so maybe i'm wrong i probably am wrong let's see i hate bitcoin i hate crypto all it does is make everyone else's internet slower yeah and it makes it so you can't get a friggin graphics card 
with all my pre-records, I have a total of 72 videos with all my pre-record 72 videos so far, but I haven't uploaded any yet. Only upload once a week. I'm good for pretty much a year. I would upload three times a week if you can. I've always wanted to get to the point where I could upload three times a week, and every time I've gotten close to that, uh, I've gotten busy. Um, doing this stream and doing one episode of Feeding the Trolls is about all I can manage at the moment. I'm in the middle of working on this guy's short film. I'm writing a short film of my own. I'm writing a book. I'm trying to get out more. Um, oh, shit, it's doing it. All right, so give it a second. Saving recovery information. It's crashing again. Well, we had a good run. <laughs> that was that was a lot longer than normal. Real life always screws people over. Yeah, it's... That's one of the reasons why I want to branch out. Because I really feel like Cute Fuzzy Weasel is all about feeding the trolls. And I want to do more with that weasel character. Also, in December, we're going to have the... God, in, this, in December, we will hit the 10-year anniversary of Feeding the Trolls. That's fucking wild. I am not sure what I'm going to do for that. I have debated redoing the original uh, dabs or flower. I don't know what you're talking about. In a way, you have telecast the weasel by accident. Typecast. Oh, typecast the weasel by accident. Explain. Well, I want to just do Let's Play videos on Saturday and then get used to maintaining a schedule and then working on ideas. Ten years should be a big celebration. I know, and I wish I had ideas. <laughs> it should be a big celebration. It's ten years. Ten years is a long, long time to be doing one show. And, you know, who knows? I've got a nice backlog of trolls that I feel very comfortable doing episodes on. I've got my pipeline down to a science, almost. I've calculated it out that it takes me about a concentrated day to make one episode. If, if I do nothing but edit, it takes me about a day. With that in mind, I could very I could conceivably get to and this is again like take this with a grain of salt you know I've made I, I've come up with ideas like this before but theoretically if I were to do nothing but feeding the trolls I could put three episodes out a week theoretically theoretically let's see hash or bud nugs or dab charts I nugs I guess variable type uh, typecasting and our actress repeatedly to the same type or role the result in the of the appropriateness of their appearance and access to such roles oh you mean I can't show my face without it being associated with feeding the trolls now that I've done it for a decade is that what you're saying? Because you might be right. I don't know. I know I'm going to be doing... I know I'm going to be doing, you know, Feeding the Trolls episodes until YouTube is gone. <laughs> like, I've already kind of come to peace with that idea that I'm going to be doing Feeding the Trolls until... You know, I'm either dead or YouTube is gone. I have a feeling I'm going to outlive YouTube. Because I don't think things last forever. And I don't think websites last forever. I mean, 
Actually, let me check something real quick. This will prove my point. Because I need to see. I mean, I just want to see here. Current status defunct. Yeah. So Friendster is gone. And Friendster used to be pretty hot shit. But there's Friendster, Bolt, Windows Live Space, Yahoo 360, Yahoo Kickstart, Yahoo, 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 yeah, all the Yahoos. <laughs> Yahoo's gone. Uh, I'm looking at a list of all defunct uh, things. Well, you know, I, I don't know. I, yeah. Yep, pretty much. You are the face of your own creation. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. But what I'm saying is that I'm probably going to do this until YouTube is defunct. Just because at this point, I don't think I can stop. So either until YouTube is defunct or my lawyers and or agent tell me to stop. And probably not even then. Because there's always going to be... There's always going to be people. <laughs> there's always going to be, you know, idiots making making videos online. Even if it's not YouTube. A hundred years! <laughs> Feeding the trolls a hundred years! Uh, I don't like what I've been doing here. Uh, nah. It, I... Nah. Let's avoid hitting that, but yeah. Let's see. Uh, the future is now, old man. <laughs> the future is now, old man. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it kind of is. But you have to admit, like, come at, at some point, YouTube's got to not be around. Like, I don't, I refuse to believe that in a hundred years, YouTube's still going to be here. I, I'll be really disappointed. <laughs> Oh, and you know what the, the the kicker of that statement is? That it probably will still be here in a hundred years. And and this channel will probably still be here in a hundred years. Um, they'll probably institute some kind of archival thing. They'll have old YouTube and new YouTube. This is my prediction. I'm going to be Nostradamus here. There's going to be old YouTube... Which will be a defunct kind of file shit, like video uploading. Well, not, it'll be a defunct video database where internet historians, not the internet historian, but internet, his, like, as soon as the internet is old enough for there to be internet, his, am I doing something? Uh, hands and hair. Man. Well, okay. I'll keep this and then edit it when I come back to color it if it's in. So, in 100 years, right, there will be old YouTube and new YouTube. And old YouTube will be a database of YouTube's maybe first uh, 25, 30 years. And one day they're going to be like, okay, we're going to stop up. You're going to you're going to have a cutoff date, right? And after this cutoff date, any video uploaded to the site is going to have a time frame, right? Because 
you're kind of already in that where a video has like a lifespan and you know after a certain point it's not really it's not really getting the viewership that it would have so instead of making hundreds of thousands of views on it you're making a couple thousand um so they will they'll be like for the purposes of history any video uploaded before let's say 2025 will remain on our servers in perpetuity so future generations can come around and go like oh wow this is uh, where it started this is where the downfall of civilization began right and then they'll be like however any video uploaded after 2025 will only be allowed to exist on the platform for a total of let's say two years and after two years it's deleted and you either have to live with it or re-upload it and the idea will be like well i mean look we're not made out of space eventually you know you video creators that know their stuff know that older videos don't really do anything right so those videos will have a lifespan after which they'll go away and that'll be how it is and in a hundred years you know my my videos up to that point will all be on some will all be on the old youtube museum <laughs> and people in the future like all four of them that are interested in this kind of thing will go back and watch the episodes and they'll be like oh that was boring and, and that'll and that'll be where it is and then everything else will i don't know all the all the episodes all the old episodes will probably just have to exist on on personal hard drives from then on out because there's no point in uploading them to youtube because youtube will delete them i'm sorry i get really depressed <laughs> i get really depressing after a while don't i let's see do you have a favorite episode of Feeding the Trolls? Um. No. I. I. It's, it's kind of hard to have a favorite thing that you've done. Uh. So, no. I don't have a favorite episode of Feeding the Trolls. It's. There's something about that that just seems egotistical. For me, not for you. You can have a favorite, but as as the creator of the show, it seems kind of like I don't know. It seems like tooting my own horn to way way too much. Uh, let's see, what kills YouTube then? I don't know. Some other better site. That's how evolution works. Or, you know, YouTube splits itself off into old and new YouTube. In which case, YouTube doesn't die. It just lives on like a Hydra. Not Hydra from Marvel, like the actual animal, the Hydra, that reproduces by splitting itself off and can't actually die. Weasel, did I ever tell you... Did you... Did I ever tell you kids about... Oh, oh, there's a semicolon. It's, it's hard for me to read it with the font that I have. Did I ever tell you kids about YouTube? Yesterday's future past. What's your opinion on trans rights? Uh good? They're they're good? Why would I don't get it. That's like asking me what my opinion on human rights are. They're good. Human rights are good. Let's see. Uh do you have uh, a guy uh, there's a guy on YouTube called Internet Historian already. Yeah, but I'm talking about actual paid Internet Historians, uh, not a channel guy. Although, he's done a pretty good job of documenting Internet history, too. I feel like creating a... Not my voice just cracked from all the alcohol I've been drinking. Got money for a 49er? I fell down a shaft. Um... I have a I, I I feel like making a playlist of just internet history. Actually like genuine internet history though. Or maybe making a show about genuine internet history. Not like 
like how a how a BBS board operated back in back in the day. Back in the day, we we didn't have files. We had forums, and you and you went online. And I'm not a fan of these eyebrows. I think I might have made. Well. No, it's all right. Uh, we'll we'll see. You know, we'll see. Weasel said trans rights. Same. I'm a trans woman myself. Okay, good for you. Oh yeah, trans rights are human rights. Yeah. Let's see, 100 years we'll have holodecks. I think holodecks are just an incredibly addictive technology. I think if holodecks were real, you'd I would never go outside. Up, uh, all right, there it goes again. It's saving, or it's crashing. I don't know. I have a feeling if holodecks were real, there people would be getting people would be getting a lot more. <laughs> um see what else would be fun i don't know holodecks are kind of i genuinely think that if not done correctly if you had something with the immersion of a holodeck then video games could actually give you ptsd i like if there was this is if you like if if the if if you maintained a stylistic look to a video game then I think you'd be okay, but as soon as a video game becomes, like, absolutely as, like, just like looking at a photograph, and as soon as, like, virtual reality becomes to the point where, like, the fuck, like, the friggin' Matrix, then, like, all of a sudden video games can give you, like, actual PTSD. <laughs> um... Ah, uh, man, it's not... I might have to lean into this skid as far as how the lines are turning out because it's not... It does not want me to live stream and also do this. Put the eyes... Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. Like a porn deck. Doesn't someone get holodeck PTSD in Star Trek? Um, there's holodeck addiction, which is another thing I think would be true if we had them. Uh, because you know who who the hell wants to actually exist? <laughs> who wants to actually live in reality? If you can be, if a holodeck look, holodecks basically turn you into a god. And I have a feeling that if that kind of power was real and you could just, you know, computer, make me a population and make them servile to me. I have a feeling we, you know, that that expression like absolute power corrupts, we'd, we'd end up seeing a lot of Lord of the Flies scenarios. So, yeah, I stand by my assessment that holodecks would be an absolute disaster if they were as portrayed in Star Trek they would be an absolute disaster yeah reality stinks yeah reality sucks even in Star Trek reality sucks nah, Star Trek reality is pretty good I mean you can go everywhere and do anything you can go back in time in Star Trek if you want so why not Uh, of course, you can really only do everything if you're the main character in something or you're, a, you know, a character in something. If you're a nothing nobody from nowhere on a nobody nowhere ship, then you can't do anything. You gotta wait around for the main cast to come, come around and save you. Or hope that you become main cast through your actions. 
Let's see. Star Trek is what we could be, but sadly, nope. I've never actually read Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is a very, very interesting book. It's a very interesting book. It was required reading for me. Way back in the day, it was required reading. Lord of the Flies, Upton Sinclair, and then the PTA got taken over by weird reactionary zealots in 2004. And we couldn't do that anymore. Couldn't read anything that had left-leaning ideals. Anyway. I really hope I don't ever sound like that naturally. Half-Life 3 will all, will be a holodeck exclusive. <laughs> Tell you what, I would, I would buy a holodeck for Half-Life 3. I've debated getting an index, but right now I just can't justify that kind of expenditure. That'll be a gift that I give myself if I ever get a decently paying job you know if i if i'm if i get a decently paying job that'll be like okay we're gonna we're gonna splurge on a valve index we're gonna do that i've got enough room in this apartment to move around and actually use a vr headset i've got an oculus rift but only because i could find i found one for a really good price I got it for 70 bucks. America could supply the world with holodecks and still afford decent health care. Yeah. Well, America could do a lot of things and still afford decent health care, but then, you know, certain people wouldn't be able to make all the money ever. You know, oil executives and the people that... Run okay, okay, no, 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 stop. I'm not going down these political rabbit holes, all right? I, wanna, I don't want to talk about this... Sh I talk about this day in, day out, you know, with, with like the show and everything. Can I not, can I just go a stream without talking about, about like seizing the means of production and all that? Can I, just, for once, can I just not be political, please? Ask me a question that's not political. <laughs> I just stop myself and I just start going like there are certain forces in the country that systematically oppress the working people and just like oh god okay stop come on can we not 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 right now I had fun with this last episode of feeding the trolls specifically because I wasn't doing that I don't know if I got this nose right I I don't know maybe Her nose kind of reminds me of mine. Like if I was, if I just had a a wider nose, it would probably look exactly like this because I've got that kind of round, like in the front. Let's see. So yeah, ask me something that's not political. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so what's next? put all these guiding lines down yeah see it's not I'm dealing with the decreased um, reaction rate because of how big this is the fact that I'm streaming so I have to be very careful with the lines that I make I almost have to do them like this because if I try and make a circle right now see how delayed that is I have to really lead the lines. What's your favorite food? Well, you see, there's a system of oppression in the sky. God. <laughs> what is... Oh, um, sushi. It's actually been a long time since I had good sushi. That was going to be something that I did on my birthday, but instead I just got absolutely wasted with a buddy of mine. And, uh, ended up spending the next day recovering. 
But, you know, getting wasted's fun, too. <laughs> it's not a great idea. I would much rather get very, very high, but, yeah, getting wasted's fun, too. I'm going to have to go back through and fix these lines for sure. This is slowing down significantly. Let's see. Does mayonnaise brands count as political? I am sure you can find that somewhere. I remember when I looked up Monkey Game Guides when you could do that, and he was complaining about being short. You're living the dream, Weasel. Oh, I tell myself that. I don't know. I don't know. I could be doing a lot more. I am sure I could be doing a lot more. But, you know, it's... It's not like I'm not doing anything. I'm actually doing quite a lot. I'm just not getting anywhere. Um, hang on. Wait a minute. Her teeth go over the bottom lip slightly. Okay. I have to remember that and not... Because of how I'm having to draw the lines, because of how the program is slowing down with the streaming, I have to remember that I can't just draw that. Uh, let's see. Okay, now I'm actually curious. I'm going to look up political mayonnaise. Mayonnaise politics. Identity common... Uh, I Okay, well, this is from The Guardian. So... Take this with a grain of salt, but... Identity condiments. Has millennial social justice killed mayonnaise? No. You can't... That's, that's stupid. You can't... You, no, it hasn't... What, what, do you, what even is... What kind of clickbait article is this, Guardian? You... Collective Vision says hunting hen is encapsulated. What is this? What is this about? It's a tough time for mayonnaise. Over the last few decades, foreign condiments have been coming in in droves to the U.S., stealing all the sandwiches. What? Oh, this is someone's stupid opinion piece. Dumb. Let's see. And now down the rabbit hole we go. Yeah. Not to get political or anything, but what is mayonnaise? <laughs> how big egg, how big egg tried to bring down little mayo and failed. Mayonnaise hatred, a brief history of mana mayo and disgust. Did millennials kill mayonnaise? It wouldn't be the first time. Millennials are Axios, the new generational victim, Big Mayo. What? Oh, is it because people aren't buying mayonnaise from large corporate? Oh, that's this. That's what it. Hey, maybe we're all just slightly more interested in healthier food. So instead of buying the saltiest thing we can possibly get our hands on, maybe we're trying to go for alternatives that are just slightly healthier than eating actual pig eyes. But I guess that's us being woke and killing mayonnaise. Uh, I'm screwing up with these teeth. Justice for mayonnaise. I feel bad now asking about mayo. What? But mayonnaise made the world the way the way it is today. <laughs> yeah. So 
So I'm working on a game review right now for War of Rights. And after that, I'm going to alternate. So it's going to be game review, movie review, game review, movie review. Um, not, not to be overly ambitious, but that's the plan. And I've got a lot of really good footage for War of Rights. Like, really good footage. Um... I'm I'm a part of a, a regiment on that game and I've been like lucky enough and I'll probably even though I really shouldn't, like I've got other things to do after this stream is over, but once this stream is over I'll like check I'll I'll probably log in for a quick game to record more footage anyway. Um and then obviously tomorrow, first thing in the morning finishing up that episode of feeding the trolls just because it is so easy that episode oh shit all right it's doing the thing again so while it's doing that uh let's see did you hear about the racist boulder at a u.s university i don't know i'm 24 and i slap mayo all over my food i go back and forth with mayonnaise i mean i don't know on one hand like, I don't really like it. But on the other hand, when used in the right way, it's great. So mayonnaise, if you can cook mayonnaise, like, into a bread and then fry it, it actually tastes really good. But mayonnaise on its own is not great. It, it really, it's it's really a, a food-dependent thing it's not like it's not like ketchup ketchup unless you're a part of a very small subset of the population that doesn't like the taste of ketchup ketchup can go on almost anything like with the exception of seafood you probably like shrimp don't work with ketchup but chicken pork beef uh fish eggs for some reason, although personally I don't like ketchup on eggs. But ketchup can go on anything. Mayonnaise just can't. Mayonnaise is a lot like sauerkraut in its in its versatility. Like you can't just put sauerkraut on anything. But does that make sauerkraut bad? No. It just makes it very dependent. You know, it's like saying, you know, you can you can offer up the same thing with chocolate sauce. Is chocolate sauce bad? No, but you wouldn't put chocolate sauce in a hamburger. You just wouldn't, unless you're a fast food chain in the mid '90s or you're fair food. But that doesn't make chocolate sauce bad. Would you put ketchup on ice cream? No. Unless, again, you're fair food. Or you're that one shop in Wisconsin that makes I anything ice cream. Um, so I don't think mayonnaise is bad, but it's not... It's not... Uh, it's not something I just put on anything. It's not Frank's Red Hot. Which I also don't put on anything. Because even though I love making hot sauce, I don't actually like eating really hot saucy things. I like, I like spicy things, but I like that spice to be from the actual thing that I'm eating and not some kind of caustic fluid, you know? Um, let me flatten these out just a little bit. I don't think I'm getting the proportions right. I'm going to run the line work and everything by the guy who I'm doing this for anyway, so if he wants me to modify things, I absolutely can. Um, 
Let's see. Yes, I knew someone who had a ketchup who had ketchup with pizza. Mayo plus ketchup equals seafood sauce. That's another thing. You can mix ketchup and mayo and turn it into something really interesting. <laughs> I'm not saying good, but I am saying just fascinating. You can mix ketchup and mustard together and make something absolutely fascinating. Or you can just get Worcestershire sauce like a normal person. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to... Uh, she doesn't have this... Her chin's like here. And that's why I put those guiding lines there. Let's see, what else? Hans mayonnaise saved Germany from fatal collapse during World War II. It was used as a concrete substance... As a concrete substance which held bombed out buildings together <laughs> here let me let me dig up some old 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 stuff um we'll see what the guy who is asking me to do this thinks about this line work I'm not necessarily thrilled uh but We'll see. We'll see. Let me clean up this, though, because that doesn't look right. Yeah, clean that up. I'm trying to be as faithful to the pictures as possible, but at the same time, you know, I can, I can touch up a little bit. And also, the lag in the, you know, in the controls is not doing me any favors. Worcestershire sauce is a pain to pronounce. Yes, it is. But what else are you going to call fermented dead fish? What kind of fish is it? Isn't it anchovies? Isn't Worcestershire sauce made of, like, anchovies that have been left in barrels to with, like, copious amounts of salt to basically decompose over ten years? Or some ludicrous amount of time? Like, isn't it, like... Isn't it like six months or a year where they have to be in the barrel with all the salt and then and then they drain off the the nasty rotting fluid and that's Worcestershire sauce? And for some reason it's it's just the best. Like, let's be honest, as a society, we've really screwed up that whole situation. Worcestershire sauce has no right to taste as good as it does as soon as you remember what it is. Like, soy sauce fermented, like, soy and mung beans. I mean, it's, it's, it's fermented soybeans and salt and, and, um, I think molasses? Actually, I'm not sure what soy sauce, let me see ingredients of soy sauce. Um, let's see. Soy sauce is a liquid condiment of Chinese origin traditionally made from fermented paste of soybeans, roasted grain, brine, and asparagus, ice, soy, and molds, basically. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically, uh, it's soybeans. It's, it's soybeans and mold that have been, that's been fermented in a fluid. So, it's that stuff. So, Worcestershire sauce. What is Worcestershire sauce made of? Worcestershire sauce is made of barley malt vinegar, spirit vinegar, molasses, sugar, salt, anchovies. I was right. I was right about the anchovies. Cool. Now I can die happy. I was right about anchovies being in Worcestershire sauce. Uh, Turmeric extract, shallots, garlic, spice, and flavorings. And how it's made is is they they like put all that in a barrel. 
and then they they let it rot. They put it all in a in a horrible festering barrel. Soy sauce is okay in moderation. Well, it's just very salty. But there's like a way to make Huh. So there's a recipe for it that doesn't actually have the anchovies. I call heresy. You can't have Worcestershire sauce without rotting fish. That's not fair. That goes against the natural order of things. You gotta put dead fish in it. <laughs> what kind of Worcestershire sauce is that? Communist Worcestershire sauce, that's what kind. Now, Timmy, do you want to be a communist? No, then eat your asparagus and anchovies. And let it ferment inside of a barrel for eight years so we can drink the fluid. <laughs> Bond with me, Timmy. <laughs> Anyone remember those? The, the, the Jimmy Neutron things? Am I being old again? I'm just being old again. Oop, I'm being old again. Let's see. When you wake up today, did you when you wake when you woke up today, did you think you'd be talking about how Worcestershire and sauce and soy sauce are being made? When I woke up today, I felt like I was like still drunk from last night. No, when I woke up today, I was mostly thinking like, "Oh god, I've got so much shit to do." People assume that because I work from home, I don't do anything, which is really not true uh the only benefit working from home has is that i don't have to put on a suit uh, the downside is the moment i wake up hey i'm at the office in fact because my desk is in the same room as my bed often the very first thing i see when i wake up is my office yep there it is the office Yay. I exist to serve. Oh, uh, see I'm feel I'm 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 starting to swerve into a political rant again. I got to stop that. But it is a sad state of affairs that many people in this world you know, like operate solely for the purpose of working themselves to the bone so that in old age they don't have to continue to do so turning people into basically batteries. The Matrix is an excellent amalgamation of... It's it's an excellent metaphor for the current socioeconomic climate. Uh, gotta stop. Oh, I gotta stop. This is an interesting flower that I'm drawing. I wonder what this is. I don't know anything about... Well, I know very little about plants and botanicals from... Uh, southern asia so i don't actually know what kind of plant this is but it's very very pretty it's a very pretty plant oh yeah it's a, quite pretty i'm familiar with a number of human languages seriously what is this these these look like rose petals yeah, because that's like the stem leading... I'll have to ask him what this is. Because I don't know what this is. Uh, let's see. I was still in school when Jimmy Neutron was a thing. So was I. I remember it like it was just over 20 years ago. <laughs> it was six or seven years ago, long before Crow's flashback. Uh, you woke up on this. You woke up one morning and proclaim yourself Emperor of Mars. I'm of uh, I'm of the opinion that I really don't want to be Emperor of 
anybody. I feel like Imperial systems are doomed to degrade into chaos. Uh, just remember to take your vacation to take your vacations. When you took a job, when you took the job, you agreed to work under pressure. You did not agree to work until death. You know, it's funny you mentioned that, but I keep trying to talk myself into taking a vacation. I actually haven't had a vacation in a in a very very long time because I don't. I usually don't let myself take a vacation. Um, because I feel guilty. But even even times when I haven't been working, where I've been like, hey, I'm going to relax, it's always been like, hey, I'm going to relax in the company of the computer that has all my work on it. And since I'm sitting in front of the computer that has all my work on it, I might as well work. Or do something productive. Or stare at the screen all day. One of the things that I really wanted to do before I moved was to go crab fishing one more time, and I couldn't get a hold of the guy. And now I feel sad. But next year, I'm going to make time. Next year, I'm going to make time to do that, because next year, I am going f fucking crabbing. I'm really tired of putting that shit off, and always going like, oh, well, I guess... No, I'm actually no. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna rent a beach house with a pier and everything. Like I'm going fucking crabbing next year. Oh wow. Oh oh wow. This is gonna take a long time. Oh, you got one on too. And uh, you should also probably have one. What are these? I'm gonna have to ask the guy who I'm doing this for what these are. Depending on what they are, it may not be culturally appropriate for the um, father-in-law to have one on. Like, these might be... I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Uh, let's see. Even if you don't go anywhere outside of your town, just enjoy your day off and think of... Uh, and, and don't think nor do anything about work. Take the time to relax and unwind for anything. CIA wants to know your location. Arasaka wants to know your location. Oh, okay, it's doing the thing again. Give it a second. Uh, anybody else want any questions while we're waiting for the program to not be dead? The program's froze up again. You know what I could really go for right now? A Jack and Coke. I could really use a Jack and Coke right now. I might take a break to go make one. I picked up some bottom shelf whiskey because I was just curious about it and it was really cheap and it's actually not bad I mean it's not it's not good like it's not the best whiskey I've ever had but it's it's surprisingly good cheap whiskey is nothing like cheap vodka cheap vodka tastes like it should be inside of a vehicle running it Interesting side note, my car can actually run on vodka. I just found that out. Now, fuel prices aren't so high that vodka is an alternative yet. However, that could happen. And when that does happen, I'm going to have a bunch of vodka. I don't know, vodka's just a base anyway. Vodka's like... It, I've, I've had shots of straight vodka... In my mind, vodka is not a standalone drink. Not like bourbon or whiskey or anything like that. Vodka is there to be mixed with something. I am not Russian. I can't just drink vodka. So, Weasel, any thoughts on the new RoboCop game? I hope they don't screw it up. I have... I don't have high hopes... Uh, but then again, we've only seen a cinem I not even a cinematic trailer. We saw a barely cinematic teaser. I would love for it to be a really good game. I am not holding my breath, but I reserve the right. To, I reserve the ability to change my opinion pending further information. Pending new information. Uh. Why are you tensing 
why are you tracing over the photo instead of drawing it yourself freehand? Well, for one, I'm trying to stay faithful to the photo, and two, I'm not tracing. I mean, I am, but I'm also not. Like, I'm not stressing over trying to get the lines right, but at the same time, this is actually supposed to be a portrait of two people that exist, like, that are actually here and real, and their actual father-in-law. So, I'm not taking any chances. I am terrible at drawing the human face. So, they were insistent that it was me that did this. So, that is what I'm doing. But I am not going to try and draw this freehand. Also, again, because I'm live streaming this, because they insisted that I live stream this, the program... And I'm just going to draw a circle here just to show you. See? There is so much lag because this is being live streamed that in order to even draw a circle, I have to do it very, very carefully. So anyway, that's why I'm doing that. And it's not all going to be traced. I can't trace that. We would be here all day. That's going to have to be a lot of guesswork. Um, but this thing, I want to get these pedal details right. Because look at that. Look at that. That looks cool. I'll be, that'll be cool when it's, when it's all done. All right. I really don't care to drink. I've seen way too many family members fall down the way slippery slope of alcoholism for however the f you spell it or however you the f you spell it well i'm not yeah i'm not drinking to the point where i'm passing out all the time and i'm not drinking all the time you know i do have a friend that i think drinks too much but he's also way bigger than me so his ability to drink is proportionate to his body size. So whereas for me, if I were to make a if I were to make a jacket like a, a Jack and Coke and just down it, I would get pretty drunk pretty fast. This guy can just drink. He can just drink and drink and drink and drink and it, it really doesn't seem to affect him too much. I've never seen him truly drunk. Um I've got another friend that just has a super high tolerance for it. I do not. And the advantage of not having a high tolerance for alcohol is that if, you know, me and them go out to like a bar or something, I don't have to spend that much. It does not take much. It does not take much. Oh, I like, okay, so these are like little gold circles. Um, Let's see. Does that mean there would be... Does that mean there will be a bunch of libertarians running their cars on moonshine? I think that there are a bunch of libertarians already that just run their car on moonshine. Let's see. It's being worked on by the same people who made Terminator Resistance. Oh! Ooh! Okay, that changes the dynamic a little bit. Because Terminator Resistance was a good game. Like, Terminator Resistance was actually a really good game. Um, hampered only by the fact that they did not have a budget. So... Alright. I tell you what, if the Terminator game is good... And the Robo, you know, I mean, if the Robocop game is good and, you know, the Terminator game is also good, then this will be one of the more interesting company turnarounds in video game history. Because prior to this, all that company did was a bunch of crappy mobile games and that one truly awful Rambo on rail shooter. If they turn around and make, like, the only, the one of the really few only good Terminator games and likely the only good RoboCop game, 
they'll act they'll suddenly have quite a bit of clout and then ea will come along and slaughter them and place their still beating heart on the altar of fifa damn you know i really want to be positive how come i can't just be positive Let's see are you going to try that new hard mountain dew no no i'm not i'm not really a fan of mountain dew it's weird i like mountain dew knockoffs like i like mountain lion and star dew and uh the other ones but actual mountain dew is kind of gross to me and and in fact uh i don't know something about drinking actual mountain dew just reminds me too much of high school makes me feel like i'm about to get a zit and have someone step on my glasses because i was a huge nerd who also wore a trench coat god i was kind of weird that's sort of an understatement for me in high school let's see uh, however i can't just like go through and i gotta automate this somehow to like just get the relevant details um let's see i've got a couple of things lined up for october that i'm gonna be doing for halloween i would love to bring back the creepypasta oktoberfest um just as a thing i think that'd be really cool and i know a few people who would be definitely interested in doing that but we'll see what happens i would i would like to do a another audible review since i just finished the exorcist in fact, a whole month of just, like, straight horror audible reviews would be cool. Um, we'll see how that works out, you know, how that happens. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's, uh, okay... there and there and there but yeah i'm not going to be able to do this thing for the whole outfit but i definitely want to get these flower things done because they look pretty and then there's this Then there's that. And then there's that one. Then there's that half. And then there's his, which is way longer. Um, honestly, this might be something that I also work on outside of a stream because, wow. That is a complicated thing. Very complicated. Very grateful you have a suit on, sir. That should be quick and easy. Uh, so, very grateful you're just wearing a suit. <laughs> um, but yeah, now that you've said that, that it's the same people who did Terminator Resistance, I'm actually kind of stoked now. Um, I'm still dubious, but it's a stoked dubiousness. A stoked doobie. And that one, and there's that one. Oh, that's a little bit much. And then up, and that, and then up in here, and that, and that, and that. I at least want to get this one done. And then, oh, it's 8.17. I, I have this going on for two hours, so I've still got a little, I've, I've got under an hour, but I've still got more than 40 minutes to do this, so. You know. 
So what else has happened? Um, not a whole hell of a lot. I've got a meeting Thursday with some people. Um, I'm waiting on a director to get back from watching his own footage so he can give me some idea of how he wants that fight scene to go. Although I'll probably end up having to do that on my own anyway and I've got the sound edit for that and he still owes me a tinsy bit of money and all that but we'll see we'll see what happens that and that Did I do the thing where it got progressively lazier as I went down? No. Okay, good. I can tell that if I can match the uh if I can match the colors here, that'll be really something. Have you seen oh, have you seen the show called Lost Tapes? I have. I've been thinking about doing a review for, of that show for a long time. The thing is, I can't think of a show concept without just immediately going, hey, let's pivot the entire channel to that. Like, you just thought, you just brought up Lost Tapes, and I'm like, oh yeah, I thought about reviewing that. Hey, I should set up a horror channel and devote my life to that one. Like, ah, uh, come on. These spirally things. But yeah, I did just finish The Exorcist. The Exorcist is a really, I mean, the, the one on Audible is really good. Really nice. Um, it's read by the author, and you can definitely tell the dude had a vision when he made that book. God, I remember that show, Lost Tapes. A family goes out into the Pine Barrens and encounters the Jersey Devil, a half-man, half-horse goat with bat wings. And they don't immediately laugh their asses off at it and let it kill them because they feel sorry for it. That's how, oh, okay, program's freezing again. Give it a second. I love how the Lost Tapes episodes, they never had anybody... Like, the special... I think the one that was actually genuinely a little scary, though, was the vampire one. Because they were, like, living in the guy's, like, in the walls so that was a good one some of the cryptids were interesting in the show though yeah yeah some of the cryptids were jersey devil was interesting um mongolian death worm episode didn't really make a whole lot of sense though i i thought the um wendigo episodes were good but that mongolian death worm i i don't know that seemed kind of i it's very hard for me to follow there was another one where it was like some kind of sleep bat thing that made people go crazy. And I felt like it it was shot kind of weird. Like, out of order. Didn't they also do one for zombies? For like, voodoo zombies? We need a good voodoo zombie apocalypse, but... I guess that'd be hard to do, because once you kill the one guy, it's over. But then again, voodoo zombies aren't actually undead. They're just people under the influence of a very specific cocktail of drugs. So really, voodoo zombies would just be the modern healthcare industry, and the drugs would be opiates. And uh, the zombie-like behavior would be creating dependent customers so they continue to spend money on your drugs. 
Oh, boy, there there I go getting political again. God, it is very hard for me to stay positive. Why is it so hard? Maybe it's because I just intentionally can't let myself relax. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just going insane. Anybody else? Uh, I love the Mothman episode. Ooh, I don't remember the Mothman episode. Um... Yeah, that was just the guy being interviewed by the cops, and it was it took place. That's the thing, though. The Mothman episode took place in the fifties, and it's hard for the for you to have a found footage like style thing for anything before nineteen eighty five. I feel like because after that, like video technology is just so clunky and so like you're not gonna have a lost version of that. Yes, they did the zombie one. So who is texting me all of a sudden? Yeah, and it's the finale. Right, the last episode of Rick and Morty for this season is gonna be not is gonna be two is gonna be an hour long. An hour long episode. And it's really gonna test my ability to care. <laughs> but um let me text that guy back actually. Hello, Kiwi Gamer. Yes, you and I should watch it that night. It'll be really cool to see that. I have a sneaky suspicion that the finale of this season will also be the last episode of Rick and Morty. But we'll see about that. I don't want to speculate on that show because then I start sounding like that guy that threw his underwear over his head and started shouting and acting like an idiot in the McDonald's. He's lucky he didn't do that in Texas. I think they would have eaten him. They would have been like, Pickles, I love it. And then they would have descended upon him like a pack of wolverines. Okay, Gus and I will be hanging out so he'll be there Gus is in Vegas is everybody going to Vegas except for me is that the thing is that it am I just the lame friend I probably am that's my main lot in life is just I'm the lame friend I'm the friend you bring along to make yourself look better. People think that a lot until the blood started flowing. But anyway, uh -huh. um, let's see. The Dover Demon episode was used to be my favorite. The Dover Demon? Uh, I've never heard of the Dover Demon. All right, uh... is a creature reportedly sighted oh that's that weird alien frog thing eh. Eh. see my favorite is the jersey devil because of how stupid it looks and it looks really dumb but it's fun it's a fun dumb for real though I'd watch uh, cute fuzzy weasel uh, videos discussing cryptids you know, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that as the next weasel explains. I'll I'll explain a cryptid. I'll make up a cryptid. Ooh, that could be fun. I can make up a cryptid. But isn't making up a isn't making up a cryptid just making an SCP? Uh, wait, wait, what? What story are you are you talking about? Are you talking uh, are you talking about Crack Donalds? I haven't heard about it. Dude took his pants off. Yeah. So back during the uh, the whole thing with Pickle Rick and the uh, the Mulan Szechuan sauce, when McDonald's said they were gonna be like, hey, we're gonna re-release the Szechuan sauce. We're not gonna call it Szechuan sauce, but we're gonna re-release the recipe. There were a bunch of Rick and Morty fans that got kind of weird and abusive with McDonald's people. 
and one guy uh, yelled about the Szechuan sauce, jumped up onto the counter, pulled his shirt off and, like, pushed it around his head, started yelling, I'm Pickle Rick, and then he fell down on the floor and flailed around like an idiot. And, uh, I think he thought it was going to be funny. It's not even funny in a cringy way. It's just, it's just bad. You know, there's, there's some things that are funny because of how cringy they are. Um, and then there's what he did. And what he did was just stupid. Like, it genuinely was just kind of stupid. Um, let's see. Bigfoot. I want to do Bigfoot. Everyone's done Bigfoot. Most cryptids are made up. All cryptids are made up. Hell, you might even do a D oh, D&D session with cryptids. Uh, yeah, I'll invite Mothman and Bigfoot over here and we can do a D&D session. That might actually be really cool because Mothman can see the future. Uh, have you seen Billy T. James paint Porsche on YouTube? No, I haven't. A fellow Kiwi, hello. Wait a minute, a Kiwi? Wait, you mean New Zealand? Is there, like, New Zealanders in this chat? Because, like, isn't it, like, 2 a.m. for you guys or something? He also, Naruto runs out of the McDonald's and doesn't get an... And, uh, that doesn't get enough mention. Yeah. <laughs> that he Naruto ran out of the McDonald's. Remember when everyone was going to Naruto run Area 51? Good times. Great times. I was really hoping that was going to happen. We wanted to see them aliens. And now it turns out there might actually be aliens. <laughs> Kind of hope there are aliens. I want something interesting to happen that's not the virus mutating into its own sentient organism. So far, I'm not liking the slow burn apocalypse at all. I was all prepared for a sudden thing, not this, oh yeah, you know, year after year the shortages just get worse and worse thing. Plus, I just moved down to a new state. I don't know about farming in this area. Let's see, uh, New Zealander here. Hello, hey. Yeah, it's 12.30 p.m. Oh. Oh, right. Earth works that way. Okay, so I was... <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking, like, New Zealand. Y you mean next to Germany? <laughs> The island bilocated to, to Europe. Oh, yeah, so it's just the middle of the afternoon. It's uh, 8.30 p.m. over here. So what's it like in New Zealand? I almost panicked moved to your island about four years ago. I'm, on one hand, I'm kind of sad I didn't do that because I think, you know, the whole sink or swim option would have been a real kick in the pants for me. I probably would have benefited a lot from that. But yeah, I had about $30,000 saved up. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to panic, move to New Zealand. It's safe from nukes. <laughs> but then I, I did a little bit more research, and I was like, oh, but the internet is kind of shitty. Like, real shitty. And also, I'd have to leave the cat and everything, and I'd be jobless and penniless in a foreign country. And I'd have to get new IDs and everything. It's a pain in the ass just moving to a new state and having to get a new license. Uh, let's see, half past noon. What hobbies have you done over the summer? What have I done over the summer? Aside from work? Uh... Nothing. Yeah, I've mostly just worked. I mean, I have been driving to different parts of Georgia. I went to the um, Providence Canyon a couple of weeks ago. But uh, mostly, yeah, I've just been working. I get up and I'm like, well, time to get to work. And I sit down in front of my computer and I work. 
Then it's night, and I'm like, well, time to sleep so I can get up and work again tomorrow. And then I sleep. Then I dream about working, and then I wake up, and I'm working again. Okay, oh, shit, I did it. That's all the flowers. Awesome, and it looks cool, too. All right, so now to move on to this necklace. This is going to be kind of... that but they were insistent that I do this and that I live stream it even though in my opinion I am no good at this but all right uh, very nice it would have been a good chance but odds are you probably wouldn't have been able to afford a house now, odds are I'd be homeless if I had done that it's better now that we now we upgraded. Did you upgrade your internet situation, or is it still terrible? I feel like internet should be treated as a public utility. And, like, there should be guaranteed broadband everywhere, but that might be wishful thinking on my part. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's that bird again. Oh, okay, so none of you know this because I haven't told anybody, but there's actually a bird. I'm, like, looking at it now. There's a bird building a nest outside my window. It's actually kind of cute. Let's see, so much detail. Yes, much detail. Very much detail. Oh, I know what I want to do tonight. Oh, yeah. No, I know what I want to do tonight. No, I can't get drunk then. I'm going to, after this stream, I'm going to pack up and head out to this area of the highway that overlooks, that overlooks a lot of the city. And I'm going to bring my camera and take some shots. It actually sounds really good. Or I'll walk in place to make up for all my 10,000 steps that I have to get done today. By the way, how many steps have I done today? Not 10,000, I know that. I have done... 2,000. Oh, I'm going to be walking for a while. Yesterday I took care of it all in the morning. Probably should have done that today. Sunday I didn't get a whole lot of steps in, but then Sunday I was recovering from uh, getting too drunk at a rap party. Like, way too drunk. This is a surprising amount of my life that I spend inebriated. Um, let's see. Uh, how is it in Georgia? I've heard their peaches are amazing in the summer. They are. We have great peaches here in Georgia. I'm actually going to plant a peach tree in the yard. Um, it, I'm obviously not going to stay in this house long enough to reap the benefits, but I just like planting things because I'm a weird, stupid person. Uh, have you heard of Studebaker cars? Uh, isn't that the, isn't that, aren't those the cars that actually run off of burning wood or something? The equivalent of $172.12 USD is a pretty good deal for rent here. But we pay rent weekly. Dude, that is still less than many, many places here. $172? That's... Hang on. That's got to be more than what I pay monthly, though. Around 72.12 times. Yeah, that's 688. So that's more than I pay rent wise, but not by a whole lot. But then I don't know what kind of apartment you have. Like, if you're paying that, but it's for a three bedroom townhouse, that's amazing. But if you're paying that and it's for, like, a room that I got, then, you know, that's, eh.
Yeah, I think the majority of this stream is going to be me going over the uh, her jewelry here. There we go. There's that. Okay. So, how's the internet down there in New Zealand? I say down there, but that's not fair because there's no up and down in space. I'm just being northern hemisphere centric. And I make no apologies. It's down there. This is a cool necklace, though. Are these pearls? These have to be pearls. I found a pearl once. As a small child, I did not know much about it, and I did not keep it, and I should have, because it was quite pretty. It's quite pretty, you know? Oh, God, but, uh, but yeah, The Exorcist. Good book. Listen to it if you can. The Exorcist... Though, to be honest, I didn't like it as much as I liked The Ritual. So far, The Ritual has been, like, the best horror audible book that I've ever listened to. Just because... I think it's because I could identify with the protagonist. It's one of the few horror novels where I actually identify with the protagonist. Because he's a schlubby kind of... You know... He's in his... Uh, early 30s he's not really got a career not really going anywhere kind of lonely and I really felt that let's see apparently Uckland is the most overvalued house market on the planet Uckland? not LA not New York Uckland huh do you think greys are real? um I think aliens are real. I don't know about greys. Because greys, they're too... They're too human. There's... I don't know. A grey alien feels like, you know, you slap a big head on a kid. It doesn't seem like... it, And maybe that's just me, you know, not knowing a whole lot about biology, but I feel like an alien's gonna, gonna be more alien than a kid with a big head like we, this isn't star trek you know we're not reality is not limited by by how much makeup you can buy with a ham sandwich you know it just seems really convenient that aliens also happen to look exactly like how you might expect a hallucination of a person to look like i have a feeling if i got high enough I would probably hallucinate a gray. Because that's just a shape that the brain can come up with. Kid with big head. Little person, enormous head, scary eyes. Seems like something a paranoid, weirded out brain would come up with. Have you ever watched... Ever have you ever watch an flat earther called Erdwin? He thinks that the tides are caused by angel spoons. No, but thank you for bringing that up. I'm going to look him up. What about a buffed up gray alien? So a bodybuilder with a big head and spooky eyes. Um I feel like, okay, you know Vortigaunts from Half-Life? I feel like that's a good alien. I feel like if greys universally looked like that, I would believe in them more. I would, I would have more of a reason. Because that's an alien-looking thing. And even then, just the fact that it has eyes and a head... But, you know, then again, we haven't seen any aliens, so maybe Earth life, maybe it looks like Earth life. Maybe Earth life is just really 
you know, maybe Earth has just got a really efficient design going on. And other alien, you know, organisms come up with similar looking designs. Maybe it's unfair to assume that they're all crazy half octopus spiders. Isn't that Rosetta Stone is all about? Let's see. There's a theory that greys are actually humans from the future to study their ancestors. Well, they're doing a pretty shitty job of it, if that's the case. If I was a human from the future and I wanted to study my ancestors, I'd park the ship in orbit. You know? Maybe build an android to go down and observe people that way. Or better yet, make a tiny little robot to go down to Earth and collect DNA samples that I can then use my hyper-advanced computer system to just build models of all the life forms. Like, I, I don't... They're, they're down here, what, studying their past. Why? Also, they crack time travel, and they're here? They cracked time travel, and they chose to come here, the one point in history. Like, all the other points in history. You know, 1800s, 1700s, Roman times. There's, there's nothing to, like, to mass surveillance. But they just happen to be hanging around right around the time that everybody has a phone, but simultaneously no one has a steady hand. So any footage that you see of a UFO is, like, shaky beyond all recognition. If Flaster Nathan... If Flat... If Flats... If Flat Earther Nathan Thompson thinks space is... The... F oh, the... F oh, Nathan Thompson. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He's also a pedo and stocks kids and... Like tries to give children flat earth literature like some kind of weirdo creep because he is a weirdo creep wait what am i doing oh yeah this this is another part of her all her jewelry i'm gonna have to remember this too again Thank you, sir, for just wearing a suit. Uh, let's see. Uh, implying humans will exist long enough to evolve into that. I have a feeling that we've hit the peak of our evolution and that most of what happens from here on out is all going to be technological. Like, I think, I genuinely think that cybernetics, mechanical augmentation, you know, mind-computer interfaces, that kind of thing, that's where the future's at. I don't think we're going to do a whole lot of biological evolution anymore. Uh... Oh yeah, this is definitely something I'm going to work on outside of the stream cuz this is If I only do the if I only work on this during streams, I'm this won't be done for years because of how intricate this is. That's also why I'm hitting her I'm I'm like I'm getting to her outfit first. Because this is by far the more complicated one. Eighteen times the detail. Let's see. Uh, will you be getting WWE 2K22? No. No, I, uh, I don't support those game titles. Uh, have you ever seen those videos of insurance scammers trying to get money by jumping on cars driving through traffic? 
I have. I've actually experienced that. Uh, back in North Carolina, there was somebody that tried to jump on my car while I was driving. And I stopped in time to avoid them. And then they ran up to my car and leaned into it and started screaming. Like, that's that actually is something that happened to me. Um, luckily, for me, there was a cop right there. And they saw basically the whole thing. So the guy was arrested. Um... Ty Lopez's signature finishing move is new. Is the new Lamborghini. Does he drop a car on somebody? It's a Lamborghini. It's got knowledge in its tires. Tire knowledge. Knowledge. It's got knowledge. Sorry. Scary. Oh, scary. I was I was confused. I was like, why are you saying sorry? Oh, scary. I mean, I, yeah, I guess it is scary. Things are made of scary meat, I guess. Scary meat. Oh, no, not the scary meat. But no, it's no worse, no. No, 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 no. Anyway, that's how I talk to the cat. By the way, I've got to pick up the cat eventually. I don't actually have Tyler here. Um, I'm going to have to take another trip up to North Carolina to get the cat and then drive five hours back down here with the cat. Well, that's going to be a fun day. Like, that's going to be a real fun day. Anytime that I go up to North Carolina, I try and leave here extremely early in the morning. Like, extremely early in the morning. And that way, I can just maximize my road time. So I can get there quick. Because believe it or not, I actually don't like making that drive. It is a long, painful drive. Especially uh, when I'm secure in the knowledge that I'm just going to have to turn around and drive all the way back. I mean, it used to be that two and a half hours was a long friggin' way. But, uh... Five hours makes the drive between, you know, Greenville and Burlington, like like nothing less than nothing I mean I can drive from Greenville to Burlington and back almost twice almost three times in the time it takes me to drive from here to Burlington and this isn't even anything my main goal is to get from here to like somewhere near Vancouver or something I mean we're talking miles and miles and miles and miles hundreds of thousands of miles away driving millions of miles billions of miles really 25 quintillion miles anyway um holy shit i have not watched you in forever youtube just stopped notifying me oh go figure youtube like stealth blacklisted me no way uh just stop notifying. I'm gonna go binge watch everything you've done from the memories. I can't wait, but it's uh, I can't. I would watch this, but it's not my cup of tea. Be sure to hit the bell icon. Uh, do you watch Car Masters Rush, Rust to Riches? No. Will you be getting a cat vlog? And will we be getting a cat vlog in the near future? As soon as he's here. As soon as he's here, Tyler's gonna have to pull his own weight too, which means Tyler videos. That damn cat with his damn face. Got a damn little cat face, you know that? Damn little cat face. Uh, oh. 
program's doing the thing again. Cat vlog, cat vlog, living in the world of little cat vlog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's still it's still doing the thing. Actually, it's eight fifty two, so I'm gonna go on. I did say I was gonna go on till nine. I am gonna go on till nine, but after that, I'm I am gonna call it because. I do have other things that I got to do. Ah, shit. Okay, give it a second. Give it a minute. Saving recovery information, recovery settings can be there, and then it does that. I might have to go back through in this program and hit that recovery setting so it, you know, stops doing that. Oh, wow. What's that? Yep, that's a thing. That's a lot. Well, to be fair, this is very intricate. This, this, this necklace thing is very intricate. But yeah, I got other stuff to do tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow I've got to... Very first thing I'm doing tomorrow morning is finishing that Feeding the Trolls episode and getting that uploaded. And then after that, I'm going to write solid for most of the day. Because I've been putting off working on that. And uh, I really need to stop doing that because it's one of those things that I actually want to get done in my life. You know? Like, before I submit to the madness, I really, really want to get that thing written. Let's see. Uh. Oh, yeah, no, and there's this whole other side, too. Luckily, though, this is covering most of it, but then we have something down here. This thing has two parts. Then we've got the shirt pattern, but I think after that, we'll be mostly done. And it's actually looking pretty good, you know, from, from this angle. It's, it's looking a lot better than I thought it was. You know, coloring it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but um, yeah, I, I could see that happening. All right, let's keep going. Take advantage. I've got five more minutes on the clock. Five more minutes on the clock. And then we can begin the long process of coloring all this in and shading it. But yeah, we'll have Tyler here. And Tyler will be doing things with me. Because he is a damn horrible little cat. Very small. Uh, uh, nah, and across here. Ah, that's. Have to maintain that kind of jittery look to everything. Yeah. I'm gonna hit this. that and that and up there so yeah we've got a next uh next feeding the trolls is you know lighthearted, and then after that one i'm thinking about i don't know there's 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 a couple i want to do um there's a lot from what should you say or what you what would you say that I'm leaning on, um, there's actually a Jehovah's Witness video that I want to do, um, 
but I also kind of want to just find jerks again. I really just want to find jerks again, you know? Um, to that end, something that I might end up doing is actually the animated episode earlier than I thought I was. Uh, and there's actually two animated episodes in the works now. Um, I realize I'm saying that with, like, you know, without having one done, but there's another one that I want to do that's slightly more complicated. But it's that goat guy. The, the goat guy with the feet on the desk and everything. I want to do that one. Uh, even though it's kind of old and everybody's done it, I want to do it. Um, whatever happened to him? Did he just get, like, kicked off of YouTube just by everybody because he's just ass? Just, like, horrible? Uh, let's see. What happened to the, uh, what happened in the stream? How's everyone doing? Oh, just happened in the stream. Oh, you know, I'm doing all right. William James T. What he said, better known as his stage name, Billy T. James, was a New Zealand entertainer, comedian, and actor. Oh, all right. I'm gonna hit that. Hope you're doing well, Weasel. Can't wait for the animated episodes. Yeah, that'll be that'll be coming out here. That'll be that'll be one of the things that I'm doing. In addition to this video game review that I've got to finish writing. Luckily though, the next episode of Feeding the Trolls is really simple. Like really dirt simple. It's one of those nicer, shorter episodes that doesn't make me want to die. But it's getting a little late, so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and call it. Because I've been sitting for three for two hours. So anyway, um, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel. If you enjoyed that stream, you know, hit the like, subscribe, all that. Though I have a feeling most of you are already subscribed anyway. Um, and, uh, don't forget to check out the other videos I've done. This will be a every Tuesday thing, um, around seven o'clock Eastern or, you know, thereabouts. It'll be in that time frame. Uh, anyway, it's Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and, uh, we'll see you all later.